There's there's so much history. Fifth generation owner BJ Stringham walks us through the historic Utah Woolen Mills and their downtown location on South Temple. All right, check this out. This is from, this is one of our original style books. Back when they featured women's clothing, now primarily it's high-end menswear. That was the, that was the label we used to have, original Utah Woolen Mills, so lots of history. We had this in our store until probably, I mean, well, until 2004. The original cash register when they used to do it all by hand. You'd write down the code and then you'd write down how many we had. So that was back before any of our inventory was computerized. In our old mill, there was actually a belt that went across the top of the mill, and then this, this belt would run this machine and run that machine, and this, this machine would do the circular knitting for sleeves and the body of a, of a sweater. With his long family legacy hanging on these walls. That's great-great-grandfather up there, great-grandfather right there, that's my grandpa. He's 94, really cool. and then there's dad up in the upper left picture. Updating their name to UWM Men's Shop in recent years, but an even bigger change is coming next month. UWM Men's Shop is kind of speaking. Right here on this block for 119 years in downtown Salt Lake, this family-run business, the Utah Woolen Mills, has gone through two pandemics, two world wars, but now thanks to a lease dispute, you see here, they're now moving. We're going to be moving to 6100 South State Street. So Into a building they own. So all the people are coming. Uh, we're going to take as much history as we can. Nothing's changing about what we do. We're just going to be doing it from a different location. Okay. But changing about what we do. We're just going to be doing it from a different location. One they hope will allow them to continue their tailored traditions for another century or two. We're very few in the country. And we want to propel that further, and, and we're really excited about the future. Keeping their business going despite a number of challenges over the years. In the late 70s, when they approached my grandfather because they wanted to build uh, Crossroads Mall, I mean, we had to change then, and we changed from an actual mill to a retail establishment. Holding their place in the downtown scene through City Creek's development and so much more, BJ says they hope to honor their history but focus on the future. We're built for survival. We're built for adapting and, and you know, even since COVID where we had to adapt like crazy, we were having our best sales years in the last couple of years. And I think that's attributed to being willing to change and also, you know, choosing to be optimistic about what the future holds. Although he admits it will be hard to lose this location, working here as long as he can remember. I'm 44 years old. I started working here off and on sidewalk sales when I was 12. You can't look back on what could have or what should have been. It's like, no, this is what is the reality. Let's go. And so maybe you'll see new customers. Hopefully you'll bring the old ones and maybe new ones too. We love new customers, yeah. <laughs> Promising to continue everything customers have come to know and love, including charitable programs helping dress those ready to get back into the workforce. We still do it. We encourage people to nominate folks that they have seen that have made great strides in their life and just need this finishing touch. So that's our suitor for good. But showing us how they've changed over the years. These cases were what the traveling salespeople used. Traveling salesmen would, would load these up with samples wow. of what the mill could produce. But welcoming what comes next. Reporting from downtown Salt Lake City, Amy Nay, Fox 13 News, Utah.